Hey there guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fairy Fencer F. Last episode, I'm turning down my volume again because it's kind of loud on my end. But uh, last episode, we defeated Zank and got Galdo. And uh, nothing really happened. I also taught Alola off camera because... Eh, there wasn't anything important. She just told us where the next uh, dungeon was, and that was it. What, which ones do I need? Well, series. I need money. Weapon points. Uh, experience. And boom. Now let's go. Bounce, bounce. Wow, the wind is so strong. I can barely keep my eyes open. Huh? Eh, never mind. Did something just... What's wrong? We gotta keep moving before this gust turns into a headwind. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me take a whiz first. Huh? Hey! Do you know what oversharing is? Oh, ho, 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 me too! What a coincidence, Fang! Hey, want to make things interesting by going together? Heck yeah! Just don't cross the streams! Ugh. Man, I feel refreshed. Let's go, guys. Please don't come near me! Huh? Why not? Anyway, let's go, Galdo. Roger that, Bang. You're so gross. I hope you at least washed your hands. I still feel nervous for some reason. I have a bad feeling about this place. All right. You do. Gotta avoid the battles here. Except for this yes. one. Yes. It looks like that works. Let's do this. Let's see. Executing shooting slash. Yeah. Just seeing how strong seeing how strong this dungeon yeah. is. Yeah. New data. Fire. My turn. Let's do this. Next! That was nothing! Alright, let's go. Oh. Uh, you're so frustrating! I just wanted the item. Ah, <sighs> whatever. My turn! Yeah! Next. New data! Hm. Let's do this! My turn! Yeah! Yeah! Next! Oh my! Was that it? Gimme! We got a herb. Probably didn't get that many weapon points. Nope. He still has learning on, right? Or... Yeah, he's got Dax on. Should allow him to use the skill learning. Kill. 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 Okay, so she wants to kill. She only says kill. Don't lose your way in your mind. Kill, 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 kill. Why should remind me of Blade? And that's not a good thing. I can sense someone is watching us. 
But who? Are we walking into a trap? If so... I got a feeling feel like somebody's watching me. Yes! Gotcha. Probably shouldn't be singing that. Let's do this. Um, attack up. Executing. My turn. <laughs> I cannot wait to replace the arrow if I get a chance to. No oh, confusion. Great. Let's do this. Next. New data. Fire. Hot. My turn. Yeah. Let's do this. Next. New data. Ha! My turn. Yeah. Next. Let's do this. Next. Boom. That was nothing. Research request done. Actually, I don't really do many of the quests here. I just grind for weapon points. Because uh, apparently levels don't matter, but to get certain characters, you need a certain level, which is gonna suck. Get close to it. All right, we're gonna transform. There, rise. Possible to enter from the front. So, what if we tried approaching it from the top? You are right. We must enter the tornado from the top in order to get inside of it. Aaron, if you would be so kind. You want me to enter that tornado from the top? No way! What if I get blown away? Please don't be selfish. As the saying goes, one for all and all for me. That means you should be willing to die on my behalf. Uh, no. Why don't you transform and jump inside yourself? Come on, just jump already! Oh my, I am terribly sorry. I had no idea your bug wings were strictly ornamental. How very rude of me. No, no. Beautiful ladies shouldn't fight like this. There's gotta be a way to get inside without rushing into something. There's no time for idle banter. What will you do if some other fencer steals the fury while we stand around talking? I find it funny how Galdo is the one who's actually saying, hey, let's chill out and think, but instead, Tiara's giving him crap for it. Eh, everyone knows Furies are first come, first serve. If someone ends up stealing it, we'll just try harder next time, eh? <sighs> oh, don't give me that look. If we can't get in from the top, we'll just go in from the bottom. Fair eyes! You're doing so well! Good job, my darling. Uh... What are you doing? Do you want to fight me? Bring it on. I accept your challenge. Just follow me. God, the is annoying sometimes. Entering from underneath. I see. That's a good idea. Hmm. We're gonna tunnel in like moles, huh? Interesting. Let's go, guys. I really don't want to get my wings dirty, but I guess I have no choice. Please wait, everyone! What? You scared of a hole in the ground? I get why a pampered rich girl wouldn't like it, but I think it looks pretty cozy. That's not it! Don't you think this is too reckless? What if this is a trap? Just as I thought, I sense a presence. Who's there? Show yourself already! What are you talking about? There's no one here except us. Anyway, I'm going in. Please wait! 
Harley, could you move a little faster? Your ginormous ass is in my face. Why are you complaining, though? Whoops, sorry about that. Kill, 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 kill. I don't understand why Fang was complaining about that. Thanks for being so patient. <laughs> oh, your mole plan was a great success, as expected of my loyal disciple. Thanks, guy. If you ask me, this was as easy as pie and cake. Please wait. Someone is definitely here. Doesn't this seem like Goldo's trap? Oh my god, shut up. You're breaking my heart, miss. A man's word is his bond, eh? I never betray the bond between me and Fang. Why are you acting like this? Are you trying to psych me out or something? Stop being such a rude little bitch! <laughs> uh, yes! Wait, I can't right now! Please don't speak to me like that in such a tense situation! Um, uh, okay, she's... I forgot she's a masochist. At any rate, I have a bad feeling about Baldo. Please, you can't trust him! Jeez, you're so damn stubborn. Just keep obsessing over pointless details. I chose to accept him into our group. That's my call, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm only concerned for everyone's safety, and... I don't get a bad vibe from Galdo. In fact, I like him because he's easy to read. And he's just upbeat and fun to be around. I don't dislike Galdo either. You just have an axe to grind with him, right, Tiara? Oh, thanks, Harley and Aaron. I love you guys. Of course, I still love Tiara, too. <laughs> that was a close one, Tiara. Galdo, are you okay? Don't expect any gratitude from me. You could just be faking that cut. Oh, my God. <laughs> Doesn't bother me if you think that. I didn't say if you expect them to receive gratitude for it. You're awesome, Galdo. Thumbnail. More importantly, who's that girl? Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. I don't think she speaks our language. A fairy! She must be a fencer! Fighter Fang! Actually, what Ethel is saying is, pleased to meet you all. Now I'm gonna kill you. Ah, where are my manners? This is Ethel, and I'm her fairy, Karin. I also act as her interpreter. I knew it. You must be allied with Galdo, right? Oh my god, just let it go already. Hell no! I've never seen this chick before in my life, eh? Yeah. Is it because he's Canadian? Allow me to interpret. She means, I will kill you. That's practically the same thing. Please wait. Who in the world are you? They just said her name. Kill. Butcher. Annihilate. <laughs> Ethel says, there's no reason to answer that. Fighting is all I know. Additionally, stop complaining, you whiny little bitch. I can't stand smug, privileged hussies like you. Finally, somebody says it. I hate you so much. You die first. I'm gonna kill you until you die from it. That's what Ethel says. People die when they are killed. What did you say to me? The feeling's mutual, so come get some. I'll give you a definite death. Definitely. As you can see, we're royally pissed off. You're gonna pay for wounding Goldo. Come on, guys. Let's get him. This is friggin' annoying. Let's right. do this. Hopefully I can... Kill. My turn. Ah, crap. Yeah. Kill. So I can't get a second hit off New of her. Data. And she hits like a tank. Let's do this. Let's see. Physical defense. Executing. Uh, My turn. Hope this works. Executing. Kill. Kill. New data. Fire. Ha. Kill. Kill. Let's do this. Yeah, she's a bow user. Yeah. Fire. My 
turn. Yeah. New data. And I can't fair eyes. Executing. Let's do this. My turn. New data. Fire. Probably should. Let's do this. What level she is. New data. Let's do this. Okay, do I have anything that can fight you? No, I do not. Here. My turn. She's horrible at this. New data. Okay, fair eyes. Fair eyes. Let's go. I can't use Bolt Storm. Um, energy crystal. Executing. Oh. Yeah. Alright, bang, Let's I'm the fair eyes. Fair eyes! Fair eyes transformation complete! Alright, let's go! Huh. My turn! New data! Fire! Executing shooting uh -oh. star! No, 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 no. Not yet. Executing shooting slash. Eat this. Should probably teach one of them how to heal. My turn. Or... New data. Let's do this. Ha, ha, next. Oh, we're done. That was close. Okay, Ethel was a pain. <laughs> I've become stronger. I don't care. I'm feeling bomb. You're finished. Give up trying to get the fury. Kill, 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 kill. Even if you kill me, I'll still kill you. Huh? Watch out, Fang! Kill! My name is Ethel. If we cross paths in hell, I'll kill you then. Who the hell was she? Buddy, there are people in this world like Zenk and that chick who only care about fighting. Fencers have to fight to collect furies, eh? But I think there's more to being a fencer than just fighting, you know? You're right. Being that obsessed with fighting is stupid. All I want to do is collect the Furies and restore Aaron's memories. Then, I'll say goodbye to the Fencer life for good. Yeah, I hope it works out that way. Goldo, I completely misunderstood you. Um, I apologize. Oh, don't sweat it, Tiara. People misunderstand me all the time. That doesn't change how I acted. It is rare for me to say this, but I guess this was sort of my fault. That's right, you uppity bitch. This was your fault. <laughs> uh, yes! Yes! Now is the time to talk to me like that? So wonderful! Please, please say it again! I wonder what would happen if we put her and Plutia in the same room, but Plutia transformed. Wow. <laughs> I bet when she acts like this, people misunderstand her too, eh? Well, she's a masochist. Trust me, nobody's misunderstanding her. Now we got Navy. Alright. I'm gonna head back. Over here. Welcome back to okay. Because I want furious. See what she got. Okay, then you can name Neo Ghost or Spoken Around. Uh, Neo Ghost. 
So we need to actually go look for that fury. Go all the way over here. Great. Neo Ghost. So I think it might be in the very end of this dungeon. Today's dessert is a chiffon cake flavored with tea, black sesame seeds, and vanilla milk. I hope you enjoy the flavors. Whoa! This was tasty! Thanks for the grub! Hey! Don't touch it with your hands! Apologize to that fluffy chiffon cake! Ow! Don't 
be so nitpicky. Your wings are gonna get wrinkles. No, they won't. I agree. Using your hands is uncivilized. You should get on your knees, bow your head, and apologize to that cake. No way! You're just gonna eat my portion while I'm kneeling. That is something you would do, not me. Do you even know what kneeling signifies? Aaron, please demonstrate for Fang. Why should I? You do it. Come on, get on your knees. Rich girls are used to seeing their servants grovel on the floor, right? Oh my. I apologize, Aaron. I just assumed kneeling on the floor was reserved for the dregs of society, such as yourself. Hey, what's your family like anyway, Tiara? Are you a noble or maybe some kind of royal bee? Now that you mention it, Galdo, Tiara hasn't really said much about her past. Likewise, but if you truly wish to know, I can indulge your curiosity. I was born into a royal family somewhere in this country, and doted on by tens of thousands of servants. Understand? My station is completely different from your own. How many is tens of thousands? I cannot divulge that information. It would be dreadful if you suddenly kidnapped me and demanded a ransom for my family. <sighs> you caught me. You were really planning to do that? Man, you're the worst. Remember, Fang, we've already collected some furies, but I'm still missing most of my memories. Don't forget that we're still in the middle of an adventure. If you let yourself get distracted, some other Fetzer will come along and defeat you. Shut up, I already know that. Corporation? Are you certain? Yep, yep. Plus, the search is being led by an extremely powerful fencer named Apollonius. No way! Did you say Apollonius? You know this guy, Galdo? Apollonius is the same rank as Zenk. He's one of Dorfa's four heavenly czars. Dorfa? Didn't they throw that awesome party? You're saying Zenk and this Apolloni guy worked for that corporation? Dorfa is one of the largest corporations in the world. They invest in orphanages, charities, and many community projects. They also have a vast network of business connections. That's right! The Dorfa Corporation is ranked among the top three companies that people most desire to work for. So those rumors about Dorfa investing a lot of money and manpower into collecting the Furies were true. If they're really competing with us for the Furies, things might get a little dicey. Yep. And if Apollonius is running things, that's even worse for us, eh? That guy is no slouch when it comes to swordplay. Do you know him, Galdo? 
Not directly, but when it comes to armed combat, I know that Apollonius is Dorfa's number one fencer. Interesting. He's stronger than Zank, huh? So, if I defeat him, that'll make me Dorfa's number one fencer. What's going on? You seem more excited than usual. <laughs> I've just come up with an ingenious plan. Prepare to be amazed. If I defeat two of Dorfa's heavenly czars, they'll fall short on labor, so they'll have to hire me instead. Nice plan, huh? What? Think about it! Dorfa's a huge corporation. If I work for them, I'll never have to worry about money or food again! You idiot! There's no way the world-famous Dorfa Corporation would hire a no-good lazy fencer like you! Do you even have what it takes to work a regular job? You'd have to wake up early every morning, you know. I, I didn't think that far ahead. Never mind. I take it all back. Anyway, let's go look for that fury. Brace yourselves, everyone.